Sometimes love is a one-way street. No matter how badly we want to be with someone, they may see us as just a friend. And hey, that's their right, and there's nothing wrong with that. But it still might come as a major blow. Maybe you're wondering right now how your crush feels about you. Do they share the same level of attraction as you do, or is it strictly platonic? Well, we've identified seven signs that your crush only wants to keep it friendly and nothing more. 1. You're always initiating. Think deeply about all the times you've hung out with your crush. Are you always the one that suggests hanging out? Are you the only one making subtle hints, like buying them coffee or giving them little compliments? Maybe you've even made the move once or twice. Have they ever done any of these things in return? If not, that could be a sign they're just not feeling it. 2. You two only hang out in groups. Are you ever alone with your crush? Or does it seem like there's always one or two other people hanging around as well? Maybe this is just a coincidence, but if you never seem to have a chance to spend even a few hours alone together, then your crush probably sees you as just a friend. It's not that they don't value your company. Some people feel more comfortable hanging out in a group setting with their friends. 3. They talk about their crushes with you. Sometimes people actually talk about their crushes with the people they like. They might want to see if you get jealous, but for the most part, it's a sign that they see you as just a friend. It's definitely not a bad thing. After all, people only share these kinds of intimate secrets with people they really trust. Basically, they see you as a good listener, someone they can confide in. Since they're openly talking about other romantic partners with you, they probably don't have romantic feelings for you. 4. You've already been friends for a while. How long have you known your crush? Did you just meet them? Or have you been crushing on them for a few years? We'll be honest, it's not looking good if you've known them for quite a while and you've already settled into a friendly relationship. If it hasn't bloomed into something more yet, it probably never will. Most common reason is, is that people don't want to ruin a good friendship or risk losing a close friend. Of course, there are exceptions to this rule. Sometimes people who have been friends for years suddenly realize that they're madly in love with each other. But if you're not living a romantic comedy, it's not likely. 5. Their body language says it all. If you really understand how to read body language, it's easy to tell whether someone is attracted to you or not. We've actually talked about this quite a bit in our other videos, and it's a fascinating subject. What you're looking for from your crush is open body language. Examples would be open, outstretched palms, or even uncrossed legs. Closed body language includes things like clutching a bag tightly, crossed arms, and lack of eye contact. Your crush might also make excuses to make physical contact with you if they like you. If your crush isn't exhibiting at least some level of body language, they probably don't think of you in that way. 6. It's awkward when you compliment them or do them favors. No matter how hard we try, hiding our true feelings is almost impossible when we're around our crushes. The temptation to compliment them or do them favors is just way too strong. But if your crush sees you as just a friend, it always comes off really awkward on their end. No matter how smooth and suave we are with our loving gestures, we're crossing the lines between friendship and romance. It's important to be aware of when we make our crushes uncomfortable, and if your crush doesn't see you in that light, they'll be visibly uncomfortable. 7. There's nothing wrong with being friends. And that's okay. Let's end things with a little encouragement, in case you're realizing your crush might not feel the same way as you. Although this realization is disappointing, it's important to look on the bright side. You need strong friendships in your life. Your friends often stick around for much longer than a romantic partner. Ignore all that nonsense about the friend zone and how terrible it is. A friendship is just a different kind of relationship. In many ways, it's just as strong as a romantic partnership. Maybe even stronger in some cases. So don't just reject your crush because they only see you as a friend. Instead, embrace that friendship and see where it goes. What do you think? Is the friend zone really that bad of a place to be? Can you relate to any of these points? Let us know in the comments section, and why not subscribe while you're at it? Remember, you are crushing it! Don't forget to hit the like!